another question on variable separable method right you have to evaluate in bracket one plus x squared dy minus xy dx equal to zero how do you solve this my first task as usual is to have um okay move this term over here let's move the dx term to the right hand side so i have this as one plus x squared dy it's equal to negative becomes what there positive becomes positive xy into what there dx so i have this this is my first task next up i want the y to stand alone so what do i do divide both sides by what there one plus x squared divide by one plus x squared so i have this as i have this as one plus x squared dy divided by one plus x squared this one here is equal to xy dx all over one plus x squared so i have this so typically this will cancel this it's off so i have that dy it's equal to xy so xy all over one plus x squared dx so i have this again i know that i can bring y over here and i've said the easiest way to do this is just simply bring y is at the numerator bring it down here because what there a denominator and don't forget that these two are multiplying so that can work or you can say multiply both sides by one over y if you want to multiply it by one over y multiply here by one over y times this y cancels y so whichever way the simplest idea is just bring this one down here becomes a denominator so you have dy over y it's equal to um x all over one plus x squared dx just bring it down it comes in the middle that's it how do you solve this um integrating you have that the integral of dy over y is equal to the integral of x all over 1 plus x squared dx so you want to you'd want to separate this one here integral of 1 over y dy okay 1 over y here move the y out of this it becomes 1 over y dy is equal to the integral of x all over 1 plus x squared dx so you have this let us integrate if i integrate this what do you get there integration over y you get lin y is equal to integrate what do you get Huh? See something very weird. See something very weird. If this was one, for instance, we would have used what there tan inverse if this is x what do we use here substitution if this is x squared what do we use here partial fraction <laughs> the fraction one of the rule of partial fraction is that if the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator what do you do you divide so you divide this it's like you were there a partial fraction you know it's partial fraction so you see how crazy this can be 
All right. At this juncture, it's clearly substitution. So how do we solve this? Um, to make it easier, I'll just solve it out, bring it up here. All right. The integral of x all over 1 plus x squared dx. So we'd say let you let you be equal to this 1 plus x squared. What's the u dx? The u dx is what there? 2x. What's the x? The u all over 2x. Let me go to the point. This is equal to integral of x all over 1 plus x squared is u dot dx that's du over 2x this cancels this you can see 1 over 2 here bring it outside integral sign that becomes what there 1 over 2 integral of what there 1 over u dot du this now gives you 1 over 2. What do you have here? Lean u. That's 1 over 2 lean. What's you there? 1 plus x squared. That's, that's u. So this gives you 1 over 2 lean 1 plus x squared. Plus what there? C. So I have this. Okay, um, I know we always say make y to be, well, you could still leave it here if you want to, because this stuff looks funny. You could still leave it here if you want to, but if you want to proceed, we've said to solve this, you simply have that y is equal to what then? When you have lean of this, just take exponential of what you have here. 1 over 2 lean 1 plus x squared plus c so basically this becomes the answer to the question All right so this is how you solve this particular question all right get more by joining our differential equations channel membership or visit www.joneemanual.com slash courses and get the differential equations made easy course. Both links in video description.